time, as at the beginning, like I said, I, this card discussion video will be about Dr. Shiro, about his main personalities, about his powers, goals, but much more everything what we know about Dr. Shiro. So at the beginning, the only thing I can say what we know, that he is a mad scientist, he was one of the leading scientists and one of the main leaders of the Red Ribbon Army, he was cre he's creating artificial androids, and he's, he was seeking vengeance against Goku and everyone, and that he... Also, that he is not only a scientist, but also known as a weapons designer. And of course, that he transformed himself into an Android, or should we call, it, or should we say, Android 20. So that's the main part so that we know about Dr. Shiro, because well, he's not my main name, but it appears that his real full name is very odd. But his full name it appears that it can be Dr. Maki Shiro. As I, yeah. Dr. Maki Jiro, his full name, but everybody knows him or as Artificial Android 20, or Android 20, or Dr. Jiro, or just Jiro, or uh, Mad Scientist Jiro, whatever. But or, for everybody else, is known as Dr. Jiro. So, this is the, this the main part what we know about this Dr. Jiro and what I will, and uh, what personally I know and everybody knows. So, there are things will be all just my thoughts about his abilities and everything, so and what I think about him. When we are talking about Dr. Shiro himself and his own personal abilities, his intelligence and everything, you can say and er like everybody knows that Dr. Shiro is one of the main greatest brilliant scientists all around the world in the Dragon Ball universe. And like Dr. Floppe said and Bulma said, he's very intelligent but also very uh, naughty. Very mysterious, you know, grumpy and everything. And that well, actually, his colleagues doesn't like him, and also, as you can see, he's a loner, and you know that, he, like, he's, like we can see when he was hiding in the mountains and his secret lab, you know, when he tries to escape from Goku and everybody else. But I'll get to that. So the beginning, well, like I said, begin. He's also uh, he's well for you all viewers. Well, maybe it's enough to say he, he's a scientist. But we're talking about artificial androids. Well, he's also a weapons designer. Because when he was working in the Red Ribbon Army, he wasn't creating only androids like Dr. Fopé uh, create, Flop, yeah, Dr. Fopé create uh, that Frankenstein uh, model Android 8. And like he said, that the the appears that Dr. Giraud and him were partners. And also, Dr. Fopé said that he entered in the Red Ribbon Army not by his own choice, but against his own will. So it appears that Dr. Giraud and the Red Ribbon Army forced him to join him about his intelligence and everything, but no matter that. So, the one of the main other ranks, what I can say about Dr. Shiro, he is also a weapons designer, like I said before, because he, he, he's a weapons designer, not only because he's creating the android, but also he's creating you know, robots, machines, weapons, that, uh, that was before he was going to create the androids, artificial androids, mechanical and biomechanical. So that's one of the, uh, well, parts when Doc, uh, what Dr. Shaw was doing before he goes to the solution to create androids. But in the other things, if you talk about him as a villain, well, everybody was thinking that in, in the categories that Dr. Shaw really belongs. Everybody was thinking that he is a type of villain, Dr. Shaw is, that everybody was, uh, you know, well, not everybody, but mostly. They'll think, you know, he's just a mad scientist, you know, be, uh, belongs to that rank and everything, but no. Mad scientist is not the only rank where he belongs as a type of a villain, because if we watch him closely about his personality, his powers, thinking, intelligence and everything, he belongs not only as in the ranks of mad scientists, but also as evil geniuses, war criminals, sadists, well, android when he was transforming himself into a robotic body. As an android, and also, if I remember correctly, yep, seeker of vengeance. Because if you remember, he uh, his main goal was to you know revenge the Red Ribbon Army that Goku destroyed when he was a child. You know, in back in the beginning of the Dragon Ball, the Dragon Ball series. So, well, yeah. If anyone was thinking that he, that's that's only his main uh, goal that he wants to complete, but it's not only that. Because you, if you watch closely Dr. Jiro and you know his goals and everything with creating androids and everything, when I said before, 
his not only his goal is not only was to avenge the Red Ribbon Army, but also to conquer the world, which is an old-fashioned villain dream. Well, nobody ever complete, well except you, but I will not mention it. I mentioned it before, and the third, and I mean after, sorry, after, uh, and the third one to create perfect killing machines, or should we say, perfect artificial androids. So, like I said, the main red type of villains that he belongs is android, sadist, mad scientist, evil genius, war criminal, and seeker of vengeance. Not only a mad scientist, but even in that type that he belongs. That's the all other thing. That Nagato will pop out of your head, and you can see that he is not only a ma uh, in the category as a mad scientist. When we are talking about, you know, about his hobby, you know, creating and everything, we go into a part where I, which I will tell you that every single med time, well, it begin everybody from, me, well, not, ugh, why I say everybody? Well, mostly people around the world think med scientists, you know, are capable of anything, you know, to create anything, you know, mutants, androids, robots, machines, weapons, everything. But no, no. Every, everybody must know that every single mad scientist, with, wherever he is, in a manga, anime, movie, cartoons, anywhere, every single mad scientist has his own rank, which he belongs in his capabilities and specialities. Like, for example, Dr. Shiro is, uh, his hobby, or should I say his rank in his mad scientist, is to create artificial androids, mechanical and biomechanical. Why biomechanical? Because, well, a real ex uh, explanation is Cell. Because he, uh, because Cell, if you watch Dragon Ball Z, he's, it's his ultimate a biomechanical android that he created. And, uh, he, and he created with his powers, you know, to suck up all the victims uh, of the Z-Fires, or, or should we say even, android, even androids, you know, to suck up their abilities and copy them, so he became stronger and evolved much bigger, bigger and stronger and powerful. So that's the main part of biomechanical, but if we're talking about only mechanical, well, that's simple things, you know, lasers, flying, fighting skills, and everything. But whatever, that's the, that's the thing. So, like I said, because there are only other med scientist ranks, and Dr. Shiro, his own uh, rank is artificial androids. But, like, uh, but if we talk about the other ranks, uh, we have, you know, also robot, robotics, mutation, DNA, uh, uh, weapons. Uh, of mass destruction or just normal weapons and like I said androids we have you know uh, like I said you know chemi chemistry and er uh, chemistry and everything but and the ranks go on 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 believe me because there's so much ranks in maths as a math scientist that I will go s I can go for two or three hours it's a, like a big black ev evil bible believe me but the main part is now is Dr. Zero, so his main part is uh, artificial androids. But we're talking about, but now if we talk about his abilities and you know fighting skills, well, now he is an android, or should we say Android 20? Well, Dr. Zero, his main powers are if you watch his hands, you know you can see he's, he's uh, he has some kind of red buttons, which are the which make him capable of drain drain out into his robotic body all the energy of his own uh, victims or the Z fighters, like for example Piccolo, Goku or Vegeta, whoever, you know, to make them stronger or should we say recharge them. Because Dr. Shiro, uh, Dr. Shiro's own android body and the Android 19 are some kind of android models which are made, you know, to, uh, to the only one simple goal, to stole the energy from uh, to drain out or all the stolen energy from his own victims or enemies and to recharge them and make them stronger and even quicker in fighting skills but as we're talking about side fighting skills like all, all every single normal uh, villain or z fighter or androids they're they're fighting very quick and also they can fly and shoot out lasers lasers from their own eyes but if we're talking about you know the main part which we are, which are is the head or should we say cybernetic brain Dr. Giro have his own br human brain connected uh, on the top of his uh, uh, head, which is some kind of a capsule, blue capsule, which he put inside, which also is the proof that, uh, like I said, Dr. Giro transformed himself to an android body, and there we have only two reasons why he did that. He's afraid of death, and he's afraid of aging. And, of course, he became powerful and long, and he can live 
for eternity in some way if, until he became rusty or <laughs> all rusty but no matter he can be healing so long he can you know to complete his mission to create ultimate killing machines or so called artificial androids in some point of view so that's the main part and like I said that's the main parts you know of everything and why he transformed himself into an android 20 that's the only reason he's afraid of death and age that's the only that's, that's the only two reasons like I said for the second time why Dr. Zero became an android and of course like for example android 19 if you saw his uh, purple capsule he have an artificial uh, cybernetic and robotic brain brain not a real one but the cybernetic brain, which is the difference between Dr. Shiro and him, because Dr. Shiro made his brain, and, doc, uh, and if you're talking about Dr. Shiro, he put of all of his old dying body, he put just his brain, so he can say his intelligence, geniuses, personalities, everything, and all the goals he remembered in his own old body, so he can continue on his legacy. If we're talking about in a, some kind of long way of discussion. Because that's the only main thing you have to know about Dr. Shiro, I mean, uh, his genius is in everything. Man, it's hot. So, that's the, uh, that's the main part. But, as we talk about now about uh, the Red Ribbon Army, because if you watch, you know, the saga of the Red Ribbon when Goku was a little kid, Red Ribbon Army was, uh, well, in the Dragon Ball universe, in this universe, well, he, uh, Red Ribbon Army was just a normal terrorist uh, society, you know, full of soldiers, weapons, and everything, in order, you know, to conquer the world. And Dr. Jiro was one of uh, was one of them. But at the beginning, I, I have to admit that uh, I really don't know, you know, uh, who Dr. Jiro really was. I mean, for the beginning, I thought like you all that he was just a normal scientist and everything. And I even thought that maybe Dr. Jiro is the main uh, leader. Of the Red Ribbon, but it appears that I was wrong. He was one of the main leaders, not the real leader, because every because even the main leaders of one society, a terrorist, a crime, whatever, had their own personal ranks where to put them. And like we, like I said before, Doctor uh, Doctor is the leader of the is uh, the leading no leader. He's the leading scientist of all the scientist group that are working uh, they're working for him. So that's why, that's the explanation why he's one of the main leaders. But if we're talking about his intelligence, well, that's one of the most fascinating ones. Because if Dr. Shiro existed in our time, in this real world, his intelligence would be so far, far away from humanity for like, for example, 300 or 500 years ahead of uh, normal uh, humanity that it is today in 21st century 2015. And that would be really, really cool. You know, just create androids and everything and be so much intelligent you know being the intel the most intelligent uh, scientist in the world even if you're a man or normal that's the main thing and it really is cool <sighs> yeah it really is hmm. the last part what I wish to say about Dr. Shiro is only few things and now we came, because now we came to the main the reason, no, yo, oh yeah, before I came to the end, the one small particular thing I forgot about to tell about Dr. Jiro's goal, uh, abilities and everything, I forgot to tell you, you know, that he, well, not only he can shoot lasers, you know, he have his own brain and speed and absorbing energy and everything, but also, like every other sequel android, he has some kind of a cybernetic computer in his robotic nerves, so he can re- the level, the power levels, the energies and fighting skills of every single enemy they can get. For like, for example, for the Z fighters, you know, Goku, Piccolo, Vegeta, Trunks, whatever, everybody. And that's one of the, the, the things I forget to tell you about him. But the other parts, we should say before the end. When we get to the points, one to ten, as a villain, Doctor Shiro really deserves, and I will. I was thinking he will be always seven or eight, but. I will go with 8 out of 10. Not because of his uh, abilities and you know he fights, how he fights and everything, but only because he's a good mastermind, brilliant evil genius, and he has an, an enormous intellect, which I really, really respect because 
In my opinion, and my really big favorite type of villains are will always be mad scientists because they're so impressive. They're so. I mean, I really have no, no, no word for them because they're always. Well, some of them are unpredictable, but few of them are predictable. But I really like the ones who are unpredictable, and Doctor Zero is one of them because they always create something new. They always do something other hand everyone else. I mean. They're not only good evil genes, but also good masterminds. They're always fascinating. I mean, I, I always liked science and you know, robot, robots, cyborgs, and everything, and how the, uh, the mid scientists do everything in their power, you know, to complete their legacy, to complete their own goals, even if it is to destroy the world or conquer it, whatever. It was really fascinating. And the reason why I gave him eight out of ten because he's a good, if he's a good level intellect, you know, a good level intellect. Evil genius, mastermind, and good tactician. But the main, but the and the bad, bad points. Why is not ten out of ten? Or should I say these two points? Is because his goal is vengeance and conquering the world. And those who belong in the category of all good old-fashioned villains dream, which never succeed. Because in vengeance, if we talk about vengeance, is only because if you, if someone destroys something that is yours or a society or kill a, a, one of your special uh, personal uh, people that you know or something like that shit like that you just came you know out of nowhere and you know in a few years and tried to avenge them or anything else but they were talking about conquering the, the world well it's an old villain fashion team and only few of the villains in the uh, his in villain history almost did and dr Giro. well that's a big question because the the future of trunks the androids 17 and 18 uh, tried to destroy the, the, uh, the world, but Dr. Zero wanted to conquer it, so that's a real big thing. But if we get into that, one of the main uh, point, one of the bad points is why is 8 out of 10? Because if you're a mad scientist, if you want to create something, you have to make uh, sure, you have to be particularly sure and secure that every single creation you did, even if it was a mutant or an android or a robot, or I don't know, half half human, half cyber, uh, half robot, cyber, whatever. You have always to make sure that you can control it. Because if you give him free will, too much free will in humanity, like he did to 18 and 17, they're gonna, you're gonna be fucked up. They're gonna kill you, cut off your hand, shoot you wherever, or throw you out of the window. <laughs> I don't know. But that's the main. That, that's the reason why he have eight out of ten. And also, oh yeah, I forgot. Also, I forgot to mention the Android 16, like a uh, few knows, that was actually some kind of a prototype, like he said, and uh, some kind of a re reincarnation of his own son. So it appears that the reason why he didn't want to awake Android uh, 16 is because of his uh, paternal uh, instinct as a father. So it appears that Dr. Juro somehow, uh, somehow, uh, Somehow, somehow inside of his dark soul is soft when we speak about family, which most of the villains doesn't give a shit. But it appears Dr. Giro does. So here I'm done. That's the whole things I have to say. And then Dr. Giro, read the video, comment, subscribe, give your thoughts on this, because I'm Think about Dr. Giro, your own personal opinions. You're free to do that. I will subscribe. It's really, it's not a very difficult. Just use a mouse, click a click. And before I go out, I just wish to tell you something. Not only I will speak uh, about villains and current discussions from a notebook, but also I want you to give me also uh, your own personal characters or villains. I will wish appreciate it will be villains to give it to me as uh, so I can discuss them as their own wish. So that's the last thing I wish to tell about this current discussion. So here I'm done. Drop your like. I really appreciate it. And if you truly want, give me your personal characters or villains that, I, that you wish to, to me to discuss. I will really appreciate that. So peace everyone, have an awesome day. Lord of Shadows, signing off. See you around, folks. And good rest of the night.